hey, this thing's like And this is the footage that everybody is going crazy about. It was filmed on a little tourist train that runs between Durango and Silverton, Colorado. It's a beautiful, remote area. And we see something up there in the rocks. You can barely make it out. Here is a better look. I've stabilized the footage, turned it black and white so that we can see this thing now lumbering through the rocks. And it comes over and it cops a squat and sits there and watches the choo-choo go by. Now, does that seem like something that one of the most highly intelligent and surely one of the most elusive species on the planet would do? Or does this seem like something somebody desperate for business cooked up because they believe Bigfoot believers are so stupid they'll fall for anything? There is only one way to know 100% for sure. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Okay, first I needed to find a step where this thing has all its weight on its left leg. Right there will do. Okay, so now let's do a quick comparison. Here is our Durango mystery beast, and I will drop in a little outline so that we can better see what we're working with. Now I'm gonna drop in a line across its hip area and one across about where its neck would be, up, up above its shoulder, doesn't have to be perfect. Now I am going to drop in a special guest. We've got a random dude that also happens to be facing the same general direction and also happened to be bent over. And I've also given him a neck and hip line. And watch this. If I take these lines and pull them over, well, that's pretty much a perfect match. So now we see that whatever the Durango thing is, it has body proportions very similar to a human. So it's at least possible now that it is a dude in a monkey suit. All right, for this little test, I'm gonna try something different. I am gonna just simply pivot the top half of the Durango figure up to make it appear upright. And now I'll hide the original half because it's kind of weird looking at both. And there's its hip and neck lined back. Now I'm gonna bring in a second mystery guest. This is a figure I covered a week or two back, also from viral footage. This is the Washington State traffic cam figure that we see out in the middle of nowhere, marching up a fairly steep snowy slope. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the bottom half of the Durango beast from its hip area down to its ankles. I'm gonna move it up and see how well it fits between the neck and hip line. So here we go. Place your bets. Will it be a perfect fit? And no, it's, it's not even close. In fact, I would have to shrink its legs by 50% to make them fit. Now let's try the same test with the Washington figure over here on the right. I'm going to take from its hips down to its ankles. That right there. Here we go. And look at that, almost a perfect fit. Now look at those two. How do you explain that? Now, some of you are gonna try to say, well, think of fucker, you just mismeasured, that's all. Okay, I'll bite, I'll try. So let's see, I'll take the hip line over here on the Durango beast. I'll move it down a little, how about that? In fact, I'll move it down far enough so that its legs fit in between its neck and hip line. How about like that? Is that a good hip line for the Durango Mystery Beast? No, that's called its knees. Uh, or how about this over here on the Washington State figure? Maybe I got its hips a little too low. I'll move its hip line up until only half of its legs fit. Higher, 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 higher. About like that. Is that a good hip line for the Washington State figure? No, that's not its hip line. That's up in its lungs and heart. So measuring here isn't the problem. The problem is that we're seeing two different species that have body proportions so profoundly different. We're getting these staggering differences here. Okay, let's wrap up on this. I measured the Durango beast. 
we got a good clear look at its knee bending. So it was easy to measure from its knee down to its ankle. So there is its shin measurement. Once you know that, you can figure everything else out. For example, we know human thighs and shins are roughly the same length. So I just took a copy of the shin, put it up here for the thigh. There's two main measurements. Now we know that the tailbone area is just below the hip socket. So I started measuring up from there, up to the base of the neck. It was all bent over, so I had to use three bars, but that's okay. Now we've got its torso. I couldn't see its upper arm. So I did get a good look at its forearm. So I just simply took its forearm, doubled that because we know humans, forearms and upper arms are roughly the same length. And here is what those measurements look like over in what I call a proportional DNA chart. And we see on the left that the Durango beast has a torso and arms, the same relative length. And here are those daddy long legs. Here are what those super long legs look like over here on the far right, at least 30% longer than our torso and arms. And here we see the Durango traffic figure. You see, I've measured it. You can see with your own eyes that this thing has a torso and arms and legs, the same relative length. Does it have legs that are 30% longer? No, it has legs that are 0% longer. Are zero and 30% close, close enough to be, to be the same? No, they are profoundly different. And here is what those differences look like. Let me pull Washington state over, line it up here. Let me zoom in, give you a good close look. Would you say that the red team bar chart on the left perfectly matches the green team bar chart on the right? No, no, it does not. Not at all. Or do, do it, does it appear that the measurements are just an inch or two off here or there? No, they look profoundly different, like feet off. There is, there is nothing even remotely similar between the two. And, and also, if you look at the two, we saw that all the, both of these figures were scaled roughly to the same height. Look at Washington's, the length of Washington's torso and arms versus Durango over here. Like 20% longer torso, 20% longer arms. That's incredible. Now compare the legs of the two. Well, here, here's where human, humans win. Nothing on the planet has body proportions like us. We have these daddy long legs. And that's what makes proportional DNA so bulletproof because luckily for me green team over here whatever you want to call this species is so profoundly different no no other species has body proportions even remotely close to them or theirs which makes my little proportional dna test here so bulletproof but now let's let's move this over and i will pull in the body proportions for all of mankind over here on the far right look hard there does does the red team on the left resemble the red team on the on the right uh yeah it's practically a perfect match now i'm going to bring in another green team this is the patterson bigfoot spider proportions does the durango pdna chart over here on the left match patties uh no it is profoundly different so you are looking at simple scientific, measurable, repeatable, undeniable proof that there is a second species out there on two legs. It is large, it is furry, and its body proportions are so radically, jaw-droppingly different from our own that science should have spotted this a half a century ago. They didn't, but now we have proportional DNA to show us the difference. And this stuff over here, these kind of a comparisons that I used to do before I developed PDNA, they're effective, but getting to measure joint to joint to joint is definitive proof. This is also definitive proof that somebody up there in Durango pulled off a despicable hoax. It's not cool to do that. It's not funny. It's not neat. You are preying on people who are naturally curious about this stuff. It is not okay to do that. So anybody who's pulling off hoaxes, I am going to be there to test your work and, and show the public that, that you have done something bad here. Don't do it again. Whoever this was up in Durango. And as for Washington state, you caught something amazing. 
you should be showing these proportional DNA results to members of your own state to let them see what is walking around their neighborhoods and the nearby woods. It's there, folks. All right, everybody. Special thanks to my patrons and my YouTube members. Your monthly support has gotten us to this point, to where we we now don't just have to look at footage and scratch our heads and, and just wonder. Now we can know 100% for sure what we're looking at by simply taking measurements and doing some simple comparisons. This is the basis for science. If you want to know more about this, go check out my book, Solved, out on Amazon. I walk you through how proportional DNA has now solved two of mankind's greatest mysteries. I, I think you'll like it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.